Hello Hunters and welcome to 4FS Gaming. There has been a surge of new players over this free play weekend and I certainly hope that you will stick around. Now Hunt Showdown doesn't really have a straightforward weapon system. Whenever you hit a target with a bullet, the game runs through an algorithm that takes in many factors to produce a damage number. Now I want to explain why sometimes you can get 5 hit markers on someone and they won't die, while other times 2 quick shots to the chest will do the trick. In this video we are going to explore how that final number is calculated, and exactly what factors can affect bullet damage. We will also look at the differences between the 5 ammunition types, and how similar these ammunition types are across different weapons that use the same ammo. Before we get started, I'll just remind you that we do have a Discord server, where we can talk about all kinds of games, and you can even use it to find your own hunting partners. You should also check out our Twitch channel for more content. So let's kick off with the magic formula, the algorithm that calculates exactly how much damage is dealt. The first ingredient is base damage, which is determined by the firearm that you are using. This number is then modified by three multipliers. The first multiplier is range. The further away you are from a target, the lower this multiplier will be, thus reducing your base damage as you shoot at a distant target. The second is hit location. Hunters have five different hit zones. The head, the chest, the gut, the arms, and the legs. That list is in order of multiplier size, so while hitting the head has a multiplier that will increase your damage, hitting the legs of a target will result in reduced damage. The final multiplier is for bullet penetration. Even Winfield shots can pierce through light cover, and when bullets pass through an object on their way to a target, their damage is reduced due to this multiplier. Let's put all of these together and look at an example. Now these numbers are not exact, or even accurate to the game. I am just using this as an exercise to demonstrate how the damage calculation will function. Say I shoot a windfield at another hunter. I am 30 meters away, and I hit the target through a thin wooden wall, and I also hit the target in the gut, or the lower torso hit zone. Let's say that the windfield does a base of 100 damage. At 30 meters, the range multiplier might be times 0.7. Let's say that the penetration modifier for a single piece of cover is times 0.5 and that the gut modifier is times 0.9. So 100 times 0.7 times 0.5 times 0.9 is 31.5 final damage. This does seem pretty simple. But you also have to remember that different weapons and ammo types use different rules for how to generate these multipliers. Here is a graph that I pulled from the Steam community's Hunter's Weapon Guide, which is linked in the description below if you want to check that out for yourself. We can see that shotgun ammo loses damage much earlier than all of the other ammo types, and long ammo retains strong damage over large distances, never dropping below a 0.5 modifier. Now unfortunately I don't have charts handy for the other multipliers, but the same is true for hit location and penetration. Compact ammo has more punishing multipliers when shooting limbs than the larger weapons, and it also loses more damage when passing through cover, which long ammo can penetrate with ease. Now even this chart is not entirely accurate, because it does only distinguish between ammo types, not between individual guns. So what is consistent amongst all variant weapons of an ammo type? Are there some rules that all weapons of an ammo type will follow? Well, yes, there are. All bullets of an ammo type will have the same travel speed. For compact ammo, this is 375 meters per second. For medium ammo, this is 500 meters per second. For long ammo, the speed is 800 meters per second. And for special ammo, which is only used for the Nitro Express, the speed is 610 meters per second. Shotguns have a speed of 450 meters per second, not that this really matters at the range shotguns are used at though. So why does bullet speed matter? Well, it just means that at long range, you will need to lead the target a little bit less, making it easier to land those shots. Another consistency at this point in development is that ammunition's ability to penetrate cover. This multiplier seems to be consistent between all weapons of an ammo type. For instance, the uppercut can penetrate cover with the same modifier as a spark sniper. Two things that can definitely differ between weapons that use the same ammo type is range drop off and base damage. The silenced windfield has much less base damage than the normal variant, and the Mosin Obrez will lose damage faster than the Mosin the Gantt sniper, for instance. So if you find yourself shooting a target, getting lots of hit markers, and not killing them, consider all of these factors. 
Are you using a weapon with a weak base damage, particularly a compact or silenced weapon? Are you hitting the chest, or in the shoulders and arms? How far away are you? Maybe you are outside of the weapon's effective range. Are you hitting the target through cover? At this point, there isn't much reason to give more specific numbers for all of these stats, because they change every few weeks due to the constant balancing of early access, but I'll give you some important numbers. Note that these are estimations, not data mine truths. Up to 50 meters, all weapons, except maybe the silenced ones, should be able to headshot kill instantly. However, the compact pistols are not really effective beyond this. At 70 meters, the Winfield and the Dolch begin to lose their reliability in headshotting, and at 90 meters, the Carabiner and the Uppercut will probably need a second shot. The Sparks and the Mosin don't have any limits. It's like 300 meters or something, which is great, and you're never going to need to take a shot longer than that in my experience. Now one thing that I haven't talked about in this video is crossbows, because I was only covering the five main ammo types. If you would like to learn more about crossbows, there is a great guide here by Psycho Ghost Gaming, which I have linked in the description below, so you can check that out if you want. Hopefully you found this video helpful, and please leave a like or a dislike as your feedback. Also, please consider subscribing if you want to see more from us here at 4FS Gaming. Thank you all very much for watching.